let's talk about drawing bond line structures from uh, bond line structures from those structures, right? So this concept is a little bit more, a little bit tricky, but it's doable. And again, it's just like a reading. So how I would start this, I would say, okay, I have a chlorine atom here. So I'm going to write my chlorine, all right? This chlorine is bonded to a CH. So I'm going to draw a line like this, all right? There's a carbon, all right? Now think about it. If I go like this, if I make something like this, right? I would have a carbon here that will be bonded to two CHs. So this is this whole thing right here. So we already taken care of this part. All right. Now this carbon is here. So this endpoint would be this carbon. This carbon is also bonded to a CH2. All right. Uh, so I'll make a line like this. All right. And now you can see that this carbon actually right here is actually two hydrogens. Now the reason why I drew a straight line here is because I saw a triple bond coming up. Right? And you want to always draw a triple bond in a straight line because they're sp hybridized, which means that um, you know they have this linear geometry. Right? So here it goes. All right. So we have this carbon. So we're taking care of this part. Yes. All right. So we have this carbon right here, which is bonded to a triple bond. So I'm going to have my triple bond here. All right. Now, read how it reads. This carbon pertains to this. This there is an imaginary carbon here that's pertaining to this. There is also an imaginary carbon here that's pertaining to this. A little bit tricky, but it is what it is. Right, so going along this triple bond, we're at this carbon right here. So this carbon right here is bonded to a CH. So, you know, I could branch off in hydrogen here, right? And again, this carbon will be bonded to that C and H. But this carbon, this carbon is also double bonded to another CH. So, I could draw something down like this with a double bond and a another branched off CH, all right, which will take care of this one. And now we could see that this carbon is only bonded to a CH3, so we could, you know, probably draw this down like that. And that would be an accurate representation, bond line structure for this molecule, all right? Let's look at another one. A lot of things going on here, but again, we're going to read it like a book. So I see that I have a carbon here that is bonded to two methyl groups. So, you know, I could represent that in a way of such where I'm going to have draw a line and I'm going to draw another line and read how it reads, right? We have a carbon here that is bonded to two methyl groups. So this structure right here took care of all this front structure right here. Now, we know this is double bonded to another carbon. So I could draw a bond and it's double bonded, right? It's double bonded to a carbon with a CH. Now, we don't show hydrogens. What if I, I'm thinking I could draw something like this? Do you see that this actually, this structure right, right here actually took care of this, right? There's only one H that could be bonded to this because two, four, six, there's six um, valence electrons here. And so that imaginary hydrogen takes care of itself, right? So we have this that is bonded to, we have a CH that is bonded to a, a, a methyl group. That is also bonded to a hydrogen. So this C right here is bonded to a methyl group. That would represent my methyl group, uh, but is also bonded to another hydrogen. Well, the hydrogen again is not explicitly shown, and so you know I could go ahead with it with continuous with the chain, right? We have two, four, six, and so this one extra, you know, electron will take care of that hydrogen, right? So we so we're we're up until this point, right? So now we see that this carbon is bonded to a carbon with a CH. So, you know, just going something like doing something like this will take care of that CH2 because again, you have a carbon that's bonded and you have two CHs right here. So that CH2 takes take uh, gets taken care of. Now I'm looking at this and saying, okay, well, this just looks like a box to me. So I'm going to draw a box. All right. And it should make sense, right? Because again, you have a carbon that has two hydrogens attached to it, right? You have two hydrogens attached here, two hydrogens attached here, two hydrogens attached here, right? And I see that there's an alcohol or an OH group right here 
right? Bondage to this um to this carbon right there, right? Right. So this will be an accurate representation of this whole molecule, this bond line structure.